Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ned. Welcome back to another Discord.js bot coding tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the highly requested leaderboard tutorial. As you can see, I already have the file set up. Um, basically, all you're going to want is the, um, the coins module, or model, not module, um, and then a connection to Mongoose, uh, however you do that, that's up to you. And then this is just for me since I am running this on the source code uh, server, the official server. Um, I don't want it to reply to anyone but my ID, so that's why that's there. So let's go ahead and get into it. So there's a couple things that we want to mark down. Um, I'm kind of trying a new way of recording, just kind of leaving comments everywhere. I've been trying to get better at that, so that when I, whenever, if I ever put it on GitHub, you guys know what's going on. So first we have to grab all of the users in said server. And the way we do this, it's going to make it server specific. So if your bot's in multiple servers, it'll work for each server and just show that server stats. So we need to do coins.find. And we don't want to find one. We just want to find all of them that match server ID message doc build ID. So we're actually not going to use the um, function inside of this. We're not going to use a callback. Um, we're going to first sort this result. Um, and this is going to take what are we sorting it, sorting it by? So coins is the key. And then descending is going to, and then we want to execute it. Uh, error and result. I'm going to beautify that just to make it look a little bit better on my side. So instead of here, I actually need to get rid of these because this is where the this is where the work's going to happen. So instead of here, we need to do a couple things. Um, we need to well check for error. Let's just do that. If error console dot log error, and then we need to check if there are no results less than 10 results, more than 10 results. So, and of course I'm gonna have to keep on moving these inside brackets, but whatever. Um, so the way our leaderboard is going to be, we're not gonna build it with like pages or anything. Um, we're just gonna check if there's results, if there's less than 10 or if there's more than 10, just like we have written out here. Uh, basically, if there's less than 10, we are going to only want to put that amount because we're going to be using a for loop. So we need to use that amount um, to build that embed, which let's go ahead and start up here. So let embed equal new discord dot rich embed. Oops. And then we're going to set a title uh, coins leaderboard. And I think that's all we really need to do today. So let's do the first thing. If res.link is equal to zero, we're going to do a couple things in here. Else if res.link is less than 10. Yeah, I'm thinking right here. Oops, I meant to delete that one. There we go. Beautify that again. Else and this is just going to be if anything else happens. Um, oops. There we go. So getting used to key binds or key or hotkeys on my mechanical keyboard. But yeah, okay. So we basically have that all set up. Um, so now we just need to go through here and set a couple things like embed dot set color, and we'll just set that to red. It's going to use the um, text version of that. So embed. Dot, let's add a field. No data found. And then you can go down here and say, please type in chat. Also, by the way, if you haven't watched my um, coin system video on MongoDB, I'd suggest doing that because that's how we're getting the data and that's what we're using. Um, so please type in chat to gain coins. All right. 
so that should be all for that one. So let's go down to next. Um, so if there's less than 10 results, we want to go ahead and embed dot set color. And we'll just set it to blurple. I like blur blurple, if I can say it. Um, and then here we need to do a for loop. In this for loop, we're going to have i is equal to zero. And then while i, let's see how I want to do this. So while i is less than res.length, yes, i plus plus. There we go. It's been a while since I coded, so this is kind of just coming back to me. Not coming back to me, but just knocking off the rust, you know? So let's go ahead and get the name. So let name equal message dot guild dot members and I'll explain this in a minute get res i dot user id so we're going to do something else down here um user left and that's just an or sign um so basically if this doesn't work it's just going to say user left because you, it can't find the user on the server the member i should say member it's a member collection but uh it can't find the member on the server, so it's just going to say user left because that's the only option. So now that we have that, we need to build something in here that will check if the user left send a certain embed. Um, but if the user didn't leave, then we can use their actual username. So, and I actually I do have this built in. If we just look here, um, you can see that the username's here, and we could just use it. Um, but this is if you're not saving the username in your database that we do it this way. So if name is equal to user left, we do this, else that. So in here we can go ahead and do embed dot add field. I know this is kind of complicated for such a simple thing and probably the way I do it isn't the best, but this is just what I've been using and it seems to work really well. So embed the add field and then here we're going to do let's see so we need to use um, a variable so let's do um, i plus one i believe yes because it's going to start at zero and we want to do a numbering system that way it goes from one to ten or one to whatever this is since it's not full ten yet um, and then we'll do period and then another variable, we just use name, because that's gonna be user left. And then we can do comma. And then let's just let's just do it there as well. Let's get coins. I forgot to close it bold. Sorry, I'm trying to make this look nice, but kinda not explaining what I'm doing real well. All right, so I'm kind of deciding if I want to show if the user had coins, just because the user's not in here anymore. Their data should be deleted, um, but we can go ahead and just put them in there. Yeah, we might as well. All right, so else we're just gonna copy that, paste that down here instead of name we're going to use name dot user dot username that way we can get since this is a member object really this should be called member um, it's just name because I'm dumb so let's change that to member there we go okay that looks better not looks better but it's more accurate so member dot user dot username is going to get the username from that member object um, by converting it to user but um yeah so that's gonna add that in there and then i believe if it's less than 10 we're done so down here we're actually just going to grab this because it's basically the same thing but you change one thing and that is res.length to 10. because if we let it left it to res.length i have I have 68 uh, documents in my collection. Um, but yeah, so if we left it there, it'd be 68, and then it would just print out every single document in my collection, or every single coin amount in my collection, and I don't know if Discord will handle that or what they'll do. But yeah, so that is going to be it. So now we just need to send the embed. 
So I can't believe I forgot this because it literally broke the entirety of the code. But I forgot to put an arrow function here. I just put a straight up space. So let's put an arrow function there, another cur or not curly bracket, but another parenthesis up by execute and then throw a parenthesis around this last bracket here. Well, not the last bracket, the second to last one because that is going to close off if we highlight that. I'm not highlight it, but click next to it. It'll close off this. So we need a something to close off this first one. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I am knocking the rest off, so I'm still kind of not relearning, but just knocking the rest off. So let's continue. I think we're done. We just need to uh, clear and yeah. So let's go outside this last elf, else, elf, not elf, not Christmas yet. Um, so. All right, so let's go outside this last bracket for the else statement, and let's just go ahead and send that message. Message at channel send embed, and then node index.js. Everything loads. Let's open up Discord. XM, our question mark leaders. There it is. So there's our ten. Um, let's see if we can, oh, see there's a user left. Uh, didn't miss that, so that's good. Um, let's see if we can delete the database. So there's 70 currently. And then let's see how it handles no data. And then test. Now I have coins at least, so leaders. There's two people, user left. What's going on there? Who is that? Did someone leave right as we did this? Yeah, so someone left right as I did it. Okay, I checked his ID, it's not popping up. Um, no matter what channel you're in, as long as they're on the server and you have them have their ID, you can mention them and whatever. So it's not, it's not working, um, not the bot, the tag. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, let's try leaders a couple times. Now we're at six. All right, so now we're at eight. Um, as you can see, it's just gonna keep climbing and then once it hits 10, hopefully we can get 10. All right, there you can see it, there's 10. Let's just show it, the, let's see if there's more than 10. So there's only 10. All right, we finally have 11 documents to display. That took way too long. And it only still does 10, so we're good. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave that like and comment. If you need help with your code, go ahead and join our Discord server down below. And you can see the code on GitHub as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.